guess what? I got a contract. I got a contract. Do, do, a, do, do, a, do, do, a, do, a, a. I got one. Okay. Hmm. It's a little bit of story time just for five or ten minutes, okay? Hear me out. I got this contract. I talked to this recruiter. I want to say Tuesday. Tuesday or Monday. Monday or Tuesday. One of them days. This recruiter, we have a small little contract, a little small little interview, but we can interview each other. More or so, that's what they do. For that, can see if you right for the position. Um, also talk to your your referrers also as well. So I, they gave me the facility gave me the job offer right off the back already. I handed my stuff off the back. So I. Got accepted. Once I got accepted, I was like, I have one more question. But before I even ask this question, tell me about the offer, how much to pay, the meal Skyping, the house Skyping, there's overtime, my pay, and everything. So I thought, okay. So, had an interview, got the contract today, really. Um, so a confirm agreement to be signed. Got that, send that back already. But before I got it, the confirm agreement contract, exactly everything she discussed in email also as well. So we've been texting back and forth and email back and forth. So communication was the key. In this, whatever facility this is, we know the state that we live in, the country we live in, we got to have this. But I really didn't know how to say this, and I was skeptical. Um, in this, so I kind of stall real well with the question that I'm about to ask. So, the backtrack, I had another interview somewhat with another company for another position for the same thing, for the same CNA, CNA position, another contract. So, submitted my resume to him. Once I submitted my resume, we had a conversation. I was just getting off of work today, got off of work today, and when I got off of work, I had an interview. He called me. So I pulled over to the side, talking to him on the phone. Once I talked to him on the phone, I started asking all these questions. So I was asking, there's Skyping. Um, can I get meals? Um, if there's overtime, a lot of overtime, they have no problem. Cool. If there's a certain uniform, what type of um, charting system? Didn't know, not for sure, um, anything. Okay. Um... The shift wise, is it a five, eight hours or three, tw 12 hour shift? Tell me that already. Cool, guarantee. Um, put me in the hotel or motel, one of the chores, whatever the case might be. Fine. No, I didn't want to commute from where I live at up that way. Yes, this contract is in Wisconsin. Get, I'm, I'm getting to it. So, got off the phone, I asked him this question, and I was like, I don't mean to be rude. I don't mean to be rude, but um, I don't know that side of town like that, or I don't know that up like that, up, up that way, that well. And I literally just asked, um, in a facility prejudice, I'm African American. And... He said,
said, he kind of stalled for a second. And he said, oh no, oh no. My company don't tolerate that. What you say? So I said, excuse me? He's like, my company, our company, we, we don't tolerate that. We don't do that. I guess they got a contract with this facility for a while. So he's like, you're the fifth person just asked me that because he got somebody at the facility now. And he or she asked that same question. So he's like, oh no, we, do, we don't tolerate. He's like, I don't mean to be... Can I be blunt with it? And I say, sure. He said, we don't tolerate that, period. And he's like, you the fifth person to ask me that question. He's like, but he actually went to the facility, looked over and everything, asked for water, and once he got water, somebody, staff, the staff wives, staff wives didn't have water in the machine or cold water in the refrigerator bottle of water, they went to the store and got some. So he's like, no, we don't we don't do that. The same girl asked the question and she loved it. Renew her contract, they will help you out. Yeah, I know I'm talking I'm talking in codes kind of um but I can make it better for you. They don't do that. Okay. Um backtrack to the second one that I had so I was skeptical on the second contract. I asked the first one real well. I had no problem. So I kind of stepped a card on it. And I literally said, I'm so sorry. Bit to the second one. And I was like, I don't mean to be rude. But um, I'm African American. And there's racism there. She didn't breathe. She kind of stalled too. You can hear the the her stalling in the off the phone, but you can also picture her body, you no know, her her tone or her face expression. And she's like, "Oh, no." She said, "Oh no, this other uh, company I'm going to." Yep, we still talking about the same thing. The racism. And I was like, um, I don't mean to be rude, but is this facility racism? I'm African American. I don't got time for it. I really don't. She's like, oh no. It makes you say, if they are, you call me right away. I will cancel that contract quick in a hurry. This second company, don't tolerate. The first one said, don't tolerate it. We don't do that. We're here to help. But since the second one, the one I got when I pulled over, go back to the second contract, the uh, second contract, you can tell in his tone, they don't tolerate it at all. You can tell in the way he speaks so high of it. He's like, you're the fifth African American that's there. I don't talk to you. The last person, I'm taking a spot. I'm covering somebody else's position that didn't do they did not go for their position a couple of days ago. They got started, I guess. I don't know. He told me a little bit, but I kind of like to him all the rest of I was interested. But to, I was interested to the position where everybody have problems. Everybody gets stuck. Money is money. Hey, I was blessed on my way with this position. That's all I did. So I can't judge what happened to this other person and I can't knock them down. So you never know somebody's story or what they're going through unless they open up their mouth and say, this is what I'm going through or this is what I'm having problems with. But I just got to call and say, hey, do you want this position? I did not fit this application out for this other person. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out how to get my information too. That's another thing. Yeah, because I don't remember putting my application with this company. But I guess they saw me off of Facebook, maybe. I don't know. Um, but they have a position exactly we all was talking up north. Talking in codes. The far up north you go to it for Wisconsin. Once again, 
they that. But to foul south, maybe they the same way. I don't know about the West Coast. I don't know about the East Coast. I don't know. But my problem is, or my solution is, don't be scared to ask your recruiter or the person you have an interview to get an assignment. Don't be scared to ask. You want to know for you to feel comfortable. You want to come in and make your money for you can come go back home and have no meaning that you kind of regret doing what you want to do. Don't be scared. This whole main thing as having us doing this for we can gain some experience. But while we gaining some experience, we gaining the knowledge at different facilities plus the money is there. So we don't want to go back to staffing. Yes, I'm I'm about to quit my staffing. But two, prejudice is everywhere. Never know everybody's situation. Hey. I'm beautiful in and out. It should be no guilt for you. It should be no guilt for you trying to make a position, trying to make some money somewhere and somebody disrespecting you or calling you out your name because you the color of your skin is. There is, should be that problem. But how our world is right about now, it seems like we're going back into slavery. And most of them still have that mindset. Lo and behold, I'm taking a position. I'm going to make my money. If I can get out of this, and if I can stop struggling, literally. But I call on this video. Don't scared to ask that question. Don't be scared to ask that question. Don't be scared to ask your recruiter. Are there any? kinds of racism at any facility or any assignment that you have done or you about to do don't be scared to ask because at the meantime when you stuck it on you want that assignment you go ask all the questions besides the pay the overtime holiday pay if it's in the package can i get a meal and housing and anything between that you need to maintain that assignment where you can be satisfied or Succeed in life. My name is Latanya. I will talk to y'all in my next video. And y'all take care. Bye bye.